Hello and welcome to the fifth part of this game making tutorial. In this part we'll be starting making an actual game. Uh, we'll be starting off easy and we'll make a sniper game, like the flash games you've been playing with uh, a sniper sight going around the screen, shooting stuff, targets and such. Just starting off easy and we'll move on to more advanced stuff later. In later tutorials. So open main.lua. What I want is to create the very very background like the sky and the grass first and uh, maybe in the next part we'll uh, paint some uh, buildings and people <laughs> or targets let's make it targets <laughs> and yeah I've uh, been cheating of course so let's just uh, just see how I found out this uh, we'll start off by making the sky so, we need to find a proper color for this guy. Open paint. If you don't have this version of paint, just double click on one of the boxes and it should open the edit colors uh, window, as far as I know. Find a good color for this guy, like this one. And what you do... Oh, I need to grab this. What you do is, you copy paste these codes. So for the first value in the set color function we need red, the red value, uh, value, the green value in the second and the blue value in the third. So there we have it, that's a sky blue color. Then we want to fill half of the screen with this blue color since we want the horizon in the middle of the screen. So um, the rectangle should start in the top left corner and end 800 points to the right and 400 points down. Since we're using uh, uh, a resolution of 800 times 300, we'll make that 300 high. Let's see how that turned out. Play. Yeah, half of the screen is now blue. Excellent. Uh, it looks like the North Pole now. <laughs> Would would be cool too, but we're going to make a summary theme. So let's open paint and find a cool grass color. Hmm, around here maybe a little dark, maybe right like that. So let's just copy this. Make another triangle with these colors. 103 on red. 164 on the green. Oh. oh, okay, okay. I pasted it in, in the wrong ones. I noticed. Take it easy. And the rectangle needs to start on the half of the screen. So zero in the x position because we want it to start in the very left. Uh, halfway down the screen at 300 points. It has to be 800 points wide. That's the screen and 300 points down to make the rest of the screen green. So let's see how it turned out. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> That's the sky and the grass. But there's something missing here. There's actually a lot of things missing here, but I want clouds too, don't you? Clouds would be cool. At least one cloud. So <laughs> let's make a white box. Um. It has to be drawn over the sky, so let's paint it between the sky and the ground, just to have some uh, some logic in this. And the cloud should be white, of course, so just max out all the color values. It shouldn't be starting in the very left corner, maybe 128 to the right and this, yeah, 128 to the <laughs> down too, and maybe. 256 wide and 64 high. I think that's good. Yeah, that's a little cloud. <laughs> Very square and and stuff, but uh, we'll change that with a with a cool picture later. Um, still don't like how it doesn't move. Don't you agree? It has to move. So let's uh, let's add a function here. Um, we need to declare some value 
some values here. Let's um, let's say that in the load function, when the game starts up, let's make it declare some f uh, values for our cloud. One of it, uh, the single cloud, I mean. So x cloud. You can call this anything you want, but you have to use the same name in the calculations later. But uh, let's just call it X Cloud. That's the X position of the cloud. And we don't want it to move up and down. At least not yet. So let's just keep it to the X position. That means horizontal movement. So X Cloud equals zero. The position should start at zero. And how fast do you want the cloud to go? If we make the game add a certain amount of, uh, of value to this value per second, we can uh, we can decide its speed. So let's make it uh, 32 points per second. To make everything per second, you have to time it with dt. That's uh, that's important stuff right there. Uh, timing is very important in games because if you don't mind about timing the DT function here. When you play this game on a better computer or a uh, slower computer, uh, the game would will, will either uh, either go faster or slower than the than your computer. So with timing, they will all be synced, and uh, all of the games will run at the same speed. It would be silly if uh, if you could complete your game faster because you had a faster computer. Uh, I guess that's how it works today too, but... Ah, oh, you get it, you get it. Okay, didn't have to open the game. Uh, since it's adding 32 points per second now to our X cloud position, we can make our cloud move by 32 points per second by adding the X position to the position of the cloud. So let's see. Does it move? Yes, it moves! Would you look at that? It moves really well. Look how smooth it moves. So awesome. But uh, but what happens when it goes to the screen there? It just carries on. It doesn't come back. We don't want cloud. Don't go. Damn. Uh, we need to make it so that the cloud comes back. Maybe on the other side of the screen. Wouldn't that be pretty and dandy? Well, we're gonna do just that. So, Let's make the game check if the cloud has gone out of limits. Uh, let's just make the X position only the X cloud value. So, when X cloud is, we need to make an if statement here. If X cloud is larger or equal to the size of this, the width of the screen, 800 points, then make X cloud equal uh, zero. So when the X position is larger than the screen, we'll make it reset. Actually, I'm gonna make it 128 wider, just just in case. And then we're gonna subtract 128 here. Because we don't want the cloud to just appear in the left corner again. We want the cloud to appear outside the screen at, at the left side. Thus, we're subtracting the, the width of the cloud away so it starts at the very left of the screen and ends at the very right of the screen with uh, its left top corner outside of the screen. Hard to describe but you'll see now. Okay, seems like the cloud started at its very left. Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. Uh, the cloud is 256 units long so we need to increase this by 128 points more. If you <laughs> figure that out by yourself, good job! You're understanding this. So, there we go. Now it started at its very left. And we'll see it's, it's going over the screen. Very peaceful and everything. Looking really fancy there. S swooshing by. Maybe we should have made it a little faster just for testing purposes, but this is alright, I like looking at clouds. Makes me sleepy though. Okay, let's see what happens now. It, it went through the screen. Okay. Oh, let's see if it reappears on the left side. Yes, it did! Voila! Magic! That's the game of uh, 
that's the math of the, of the games and yeah, whatever. So let's con conclude it at that. Um, and we'll start doing some proper graphics the next time. See you later.